A lot of us in the arts community had heard about Pecha Kucha, and one of our uh, friends at Whiteman um, said he had attended it, it was very cool, and so Whiteman, Krasel Arts Center, and Whirlpool Corporation got together, formed a team to um, put on one event, and that was so successful that we decided to become an official city through the Pecha Kucha Global um, headquarters, which is uh, based in Tokyo. So we've been doing that since 2015. Pecha Kucha is Japanese for chit chat, but today Pecha Kucha is used as a storytelling platform in cities across the globe. So Pecha Kucha is actually Japanese for the sound of chit chat, and it's actually from Tokyo, Japan since 2003. So it's actually 20 slides, 20 seconds per slide, which is six minutes and 40 seconds. So it's actually a cool way of storytelling. So we, we get anywhere from someone talking about butterflies or bees, just anything, anything you're passionate about, you can come and tell your story at Pecha Kucha. I've just done the one, but I, I think I would love to do another one. I think once you do one and you realize how much fun it is and how much you can connect with the audience, and we have a great audience here, they're very supportive, I think it makes you want to do it again. Pecha Kucha isn't like a TED Talk. Its strict storytelling structure is what makes for a unique experience for both the viewer and the storyteller. There's a few things that make it different. Uh, it's, there's a very tight structure uh, of the presentation, so everybody gets 20 slides that go for 20 seconds each. So every 20 seconds they automatically change, uh, and when the 20 slides are done, you're done. Um, that's one thing. Also, it's a little bit more informal than like a TED Talk. You don't have to be an expert or like a, a, a hero of anyone. You can just be a regular person. Uh, and you can talk about your interest in fly fishing or your creative project you're working on or a trip you went on. It can be anything. And it's also informal because there's like beer involved. There's always a beer break halfway through. So we usually have 10 presenters total and halfway through we'll stop for a beer break. You'll talk about all the things you just heard and make some new friends and then you'll go back. Pecha Kucha originally started at an architect's firm sharing their work and it was all based on sharing creative work and with a strong design you know, focus. Now that it's all over the world, cities are, um, uh, have to stick to this format, but the topics have varied from life stories, life lessons, to hobbies and other creative things that people are really passionate about. We have everything from um, building a, a bug nest to um, you know, a graphic designer's work. I think it's special because it's a way of passing down history. Everyone has their own history, their own way of telling it. Um, so Pecha Kucha is all about telling stories and that's, that's how we pass history down from generation to generation and um, everything's archived on our website so you can go back and watch it as many times as you want. Um, you can watch pretty much any of them and so it's just it's a neat way of hearing someone's history or someone's interest. Um, I just like it. So we always do a practice session for the presenters um, and it's really interesting to see how everybody works. Some people write it all the way out um, first, some people are more image based and start with that and then and some people just have an outline or they like to wing it. We don't encourage that, it usually goes badly. Um, but everybody does it differently. Uh, it's actually really challenging to Usually the challenge is to condense your idea and your experience into just 20 slides and tw for 20 seconds each, because um, it's a relatively short presentation. Your story is so important. I think even just going about our day, we don't realize just about how many things we're actually passionate about and how many people actually want to hear our story. So it's a beautiful platform to share just something that you're extremely passionate about. But guess what?